just picked up our 2021 Casita Heritage Deluxe in Rice, Texas. And because of supply chain issues, um, we end up with the Mach 3 Plus air conditioner and we end up having knobs like this to help control our air conditioning um, instead of it being controlled by the thermostat. So even though I had a functioning thermostat on the wall, Casita was unable to get enough of the control boxes needed to put them in the trailers. So I looked at the model numbers that I had, I pulled back the carpet behind the thermostat, and I saw some pretty large wiring bundles there leading up top. I then also checked, pulled the filters off of the air conditioning unit and checked behind there, and I could see the other end of those wires zip tied to the top. So they had run the wires um, from the factory, which was great because that is one of the harder parts of this. Then researched what model to get and ordered it off of Amazon. When I started doing the change, uh, I realized that they had not actually connected the wires to the thermostat, so I would need to do that connection. If you look at the instructions for the thermostat, you can see the different colored wires and what they represent. I needed to tap into the blue wire that's already there um, and connect it to uh, the blue wire on our wiring harness to go to the um, control box. Because my wiring harness did not have the right colors on it, I had to make up, make up my own color scheme. Um, so I did yellow to brown, for uh, which is for the compressor. I did gray, which is for the fan low to black in my wiring harness. Um, I did green, which is fan high to kind of like a greenish color on the harness. And because I already had a furnace, I needed to use the white black connection for the heat pump that connected to the white wire in my harness. I'm more comfortable with soldering versus um, uh, crimping. So I end up soldering all my connections, heat, shrink, um, heat shrinking them, and then wrapping them in electrical tape so they're nice and sturdy for the uh, tri trips down the road. I don't want the wires coming loose. These are the tools I end up using. I got some blue um, spade, um, uh, spade connectors and a crimping tool. Um, you can see the control box there. You can see that it came with a, a freeze sensor and um, screwdrivers and some um, nose pliers, wire cutters, etc. So the next step involved taking off the plastic covering of the air conditioner. Pry the knobs off first. Take off the filters um, and you should be able to access four screws. I had to use a number two square bit to take those screws out. Um, and then you end up seeing this from here that was four more square bit screws and three uh, Phillips head screws. Three Phillips head screws were around the ducting and the, the black plastic part of the ducting there in the middle. And then I crimped the uh, blue uh, female spade connectors onto the wiring harness. Before starting this next section, be 100% sure that you have unplugged from any shore power. Then I took apart the existing uh, knobs control box. I unplugged the, the bundle of wires with the green um, mesh protectant around it. I unplugged my connector to the heat strip, and then I needed to kind of, um, on the bottom part of that, un take some screws out to expose where the 120 volt um, uh, wires were connected. And then I took the top off the box of the new control box, fed those same wires through it, reconnected them to the exact same colors as the other box had in it. As you're going through all of this, make sure that you are pull testing all of your wiring connections because you don't want them coming loose as you're driving down the road. And then it's really just plugging things back in. I plug the green cable to the AC back in. The, you see on the, um, on the left hand side, I have the heat strip plugged in. So then based on the color scheme that we had thought of before, I reconnected those wires to the control box based on what it needed. All right, got it all wired up. And now it's time for the test run. So to be clear, 
end up soldering these wires and um, taping them here. So let's give this a try. Don't forget to connect your freeze connector, your freeze sensor, um, before doing any testing because the compressor and the heat won't turn on without that sensor connected. off. Before testing the heat, be sure to turn the system off. Otherwise, there's a delay where it won't work. Same thing if you're going from heat to cold, be sure to turn the system off. Now that everything's been tested, um, we need to actually mount the control box up into the unit. And it goes right behind the heat strip. There's two, you can see some um, screw holes kind of sticking out and you slide the control box right over that. Mine came with some pinch uh, connectors. You just pinch it and slide it right over those, into those screws and it locks it in place really well. You wanna make sure the wires are facing down as you're doing this and not to get them all any tangled up into the heat strip. I zip tied them in place so uh, they would not move around much. With the freeze sensor, um, there's instructions here talk about you know exactly where to put it at the bottom center of the evaporator between those two tubes. If you look, shine a light up there, you can see kind of the tubes down there and you just kind of slide it in there and it says put it in a 45 degree angle and push as far in as you can. Um, I still had a little bit of the black rubber sticking out at the end there when I was done pushing it. So instead of spending an extra $120 or so on another ceiling unit, um, I decided to just remove the existing knob control box and cover up all of those holes and gaps with HVA, aluminum foil HVAC tape. And for the bottom where the uh, knobs were before, I, I took some white gaffers tape and kind of flipped it over so that uh, there was no sticky showing through the holes and kind of taped that to the bottom of my HVAC tape um, as I was covering up the top there. 